Just like that, we have the public information available for all six weeks of the Incarnate Weapons released within the Very Paradox update. But just how good are they? So let's crack into a top five list of weapons I would pick overall from the 30 selections that we have here available. And do remember, this is just an opinion, but I do feel I have weight behind my picks. The list is pretty close and pretty much all the incarnate weapons are an upgrade regardless. But without further ado, coming in at number five, we have the dual toxicist incarnate and they are absolutely no joke when it comes to damage. Evolving the weapon transforms this semi-automatic to a fully automatic with increased critical chance and damage at the ready. It also keeps its unique headshot passive frenzy providing fire rate and the like but also does a small chain to nearby enemies meaning if they group they dead. Dual toxics provide plenty of quality of life by adding a 270 round incarnate shot magazine meaning you won't have to find yourself transforming this weapon all of the time and that is why this will be making my top five. At number four we have the Strun incarnate and oh my god how disgusting this weapon truly is. I mean you know a weapon is extremely good when you can literally modify it in any way that you want and it still decimates enemies within the steel path. It's like the Corinth and the Comb shotguns had a baby that was infused with radioactive superhero disease and then decided it was our friend and fall into the right arms. Yeah, there isn't going to be anyone stopping us from here. Evolver this weapon turns it from a pellet based shotgun into a freaking laser beam, adding so much distance to the weapon and providing us with a cheeky 40 incarnate shots within its incarnate form. The AOE it provides means it just falls right into our current meta of grouping enemies and nuking them and overall this weapon is an absolute monster which is why it will also be placed within my top 5 picks. Moving on to number 3, it's the Lex Incarnate and to me this is now the king of secondaries. I mean look at it, it absolutely eats whatever is placed right in front of it. It reminds me of Grendel but in weapon form. Oh. That's probably why I like it. Evolving the weapon changes Lex from a revolver Desert Eagle into a much better and improved version similar to kind of the Catch Moon. And because it does so much impact on here, you can add hemorrhage mods to your build. And not only does it now hit like a truck, but it hits like a truck that hits you, stops, reverses, runs you back over, puts it back into drive and repeats running you over multiple times because that's exactly what Slash does, baby. The only thing that this lacks is a few more shots in the incarnate form, but otherwise it is a must pick in my eyes. Up next at number two, it's the Torrid Incarnate. And unfortunately, I haven't managed to go and get my hands on this one just yet, but I know the power when I see it. And more so, this is one of the only incarnate gun type weapons that can actually transform itself without needing things like headshots. Since it's a grenade launcher, it gets the quality of life addition added to it. Simply aim, fire, and get rewarded with a free upgrade and evolve it into a beam weapon that absolutely chains itself to nearby enemies, destroying them. I mean, this weapon was overloaded and it would be arguably placed in the top number one spot in many people's eyes. But either way, I'm locking this in at my number two position. And it's the only weapon that I have regretted so far not picking up out of all of the weeks and all of the options available. So don't be like me and go get it. And finally, at number one, it has to be the Latron Incarnate for me. This is currently my most used primary weapon right now, and rightfully so. I'm not sure what we did as a community, but damn, whatever we did, we need to keep doing it if this is the kind of rewards that we get. Evolving this weapon changes the Latron from a semi-automatic to a fully automatic with a free Roman missile on every shot, which can bounce onto enemies multiple times, adding massive AoE and quality of life. This weapon gives a 40 round incarnate shot magazine, but when you consider just how far you can shoot with it as well, it just has to take the number one spot. It's got too many pros going for this weapon. And honestly, there's not enough cons to not use it. It's genuinely gross and it's been great playing around with red crit builds within the steel path because of this. So guys, there you have it. Quick and simple, my top five choices. But what are your top five picks? Let me know inside the comment section. There are some special mentions that didn't make my personal top five, like Furious Incarnate, Ceramic Dagger Incarnate, and even the Burst and Incarnate, which in my eyes are genuinely fantastic weapons. But right now, these are my current choices. On screen is roughly what I would recommend in order to which weapons I would pick up every week. But obviously, the choice is yours. There's no right or wrong here, just lots of different play styles and play types are to go ahead and be considered and factored in. So as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please go ahead and leave a cheeky like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. But as always, I will catch you guys again in the next video.